Welcome back to The Morning Blend. Since it's Cyber Monday today, a place you should check out. Your online shopping actually can help a local place that helps women who've been sexually exploited. Shelly Roeder is with the Franciscan Peacemakers. She joins us now live. Good morning to you, Shelly. Good morning, Molly. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. In, in reading about what you do, I, I, I love the whole the whole mission. You provide safe help, housing, meaningful work. You also help with healing. I, I, I mean, that that's a wonderful support network that you provide. So tell us, what does Cyber Monday have to do with, with your work? That's a great question. We um, have been working with women who are sexually exploited for about 25 years here in the city of Milwaukee. And eight years ago, we just came to a point where we dis we discovered it was it was really hard to do um, the amount of support that women needed because when women want to exit the work, um, it's very difficult to heal from the trauma, the years of trauma, violence, uh, often addiction that accompany uh, sexual exploitation in the form of trafficking and prostitution. So we knew we needed to create something that could employ women so that they could get different kinds of jobs once they chose that path of recovery. So we started a Bath and Body line eight years ago, and lo and behold, here we sit in our storefront on 34th and Lisbon, the exact street where we have been doing outreach to women who are engaged in prostitution for 25 years. It's really quite something to us even that we've gotten to this place. Um, and so today on Cyber Monday, we're here to say, go online and shop with uh, Franciscan Peacemakers. Every purchase helps ensure that women who have chosen the path of healing uh, are employed in living wage jobs and in meaningful work that really connects them to the larger community in a way that promotes that healing. Good for you and this success, not just with the products that you're selling, but also the, the mission that you have. So as we look at these gift boxes, tell us what kinds of products you, you have. Yeah, we start our flagship product is um, all natural bar soap. It's created with only essential oils and olive oil base. It's really a beautiful product that looks great on um, in your guest bathroom or just for everyday use. This is our very popular honey oatmeal scent. We also have soy candles, as you can see, and then um, hand lotion, well, body lotion. And it's really more like a body cream. It's just great. It's not oily, it's not sticky. Scents are very natural and, um, and, and lovely. And so those are our flagship products. We also have bath bombs and salt scrubs uh, and, um, and then a variety of merchandise like um, t-shirts and mugs. You got all the good stuff. That's what I think. I think I want every single thing you listed there. It all sounds so important for self-care, which I think people are so into right now. So I love the, the line that you just talked about. Um, so people are going to wonder, OK, so I shop online. Do you ship? I saw a picture of what looked like curbside pickup. We do. If you put a note in your cart that you want curbside pickup, we will make that arrangement for you. We are incredibly personal. So um, any questions that people have while they're ordering, just put a note in the in the um, note section and we will respond quickly and promptly. Um, it's one of the values of Franciscan, um, the Franciscan way of being, which is where our foundation is. So customers can be uh, can expect to be treated with very, very personal care. I love that. So one of the things I think that's surprising to people, it is to me, is that Milwaukee County and the surrounding areas are actually hot spots for sexual exploitation. I also think, however, there are a lot of myths. I hear them from my teenagers and, and from their friends. And I just wonder if there, there's some misconceptions that you often hear that you could clear up so that we can understand this problem better. Absolutely. The number one myth is that we need to look out for people snatching people at gas stations and um, and shop, parking par parking lots at the shopping mall. Um, that is a, a very big myth. Only 3% of people who are trafficked actually get kidnapped or snatched that way. And the majority of people who are trafficked are actually trafficked by somebody that they come to know and trust. Um, that is what happens with trafficking. It's the, the use of psychological manipulation, really, and emotional um, dependency that creates the dynamic for people to become trafficked. So that's the number one thing. And the common denominator among people who are trafficked is often sexual abuse as a kid. So until we start really taking serious, taking seriously and holding people accountable to the abuse of children and women, especially sexual assault 
and sexual violence. Until that happens, trafficking will continue to be a problem. So we really need to be more educated and more vocal and aware of how important it is to hold people accountable for sexual violence and to support victims and survivors of sexual violence with real integrity. I think that understanding is so huge. So people um, who hear about Franciscan peacemakers, they, they know that you provide safe housing and employment. Tell us about the, the women that you serve, because I, I think sometimes it's hard for us to make that connection to, to the actual person and the people who you're serving. Well, I tell you what, I have learned so much about strength and resiliency from the women that we serve, all of whom have experienced trauma and violence to the extent that is, is, is just heartbreaking for one and also it almost seems impossible to recover from. But when these women make that choice to recover and heal, they are there's a light that turns on inside of them. Um, the connection that they feel to other survivors is really profound and is a big part of the healing. So watching them in community with each other, learning from each other, growing together, um, is just really beautiful. And then one thing we didn't anticipate is the connection made with customers. You know, it's not just the women that we serve here on the streets that have experienced sexual violence. It's women who come to farmers markets to buy soap. And so when that conversation happens and the women that we serve make these connections with these women who, who maybe look like they have their lives together, but who on the inside are really needing healing and that connection is made, it's just a really miraculous thing. Um, and gives me so much hope that the more we get this message out that sexual trafficking is happening, it's happening in every county in the state, that we can we can really tell women like there is a chance for healing for everyone that's affected. I love the hope you provide and the education too. I think it's huge and I've learned a lot today talking to you. I appreciate it and I love that we can all be part of the solution. Thanks for your time, Shelly. Thank you so much, Molly. Have a great holiday season. Same to you. Okay, so here's the deal. You got to shop online today, but you're going to have to race me to get there at franciscanpeacemakers.org. There's the website. You can use the promo code BLEND and receive 15% off your order. That offer goes through the end of the month, so through December 31st. You can also visit the Franciscan Peacemakers storefront. She's located there at 3333 West Lisbon Avenue in Milwaukee.